Scrombroid is a type of food toxin that occurs when particular fish are left out in the sun for an extended period of time. The particular type of fish that can cause scrombroid include dark tunas, albacore, bonito, sardines, mackerel, skipjack, mahi-mahi, and amberjack. One of the other terms for scrombroid poisoning is the mahi-mahi flush. The classic scenario for scrombroid poisoning involves several people coming into the emergency room from a restaurant where they had all consumed fish for dinner. And the initial thought is that all these people have immediate fish allergies, which would be relatively rare for several people to exhibit a fish allergy simultaneously, although that could happen. But when you see this particular pattern of two or three people coming in with erythematous red skin, diaphoresis, dizziness, pounding headache, tachycardia, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, you should have a high index of suspicion for scrombroid. Now, even if you do say, well, this could potentially be a food allergy to fish, the fortunate thing is that treatments are very similar. In many cases, scrombroid itself is self-limiting, but one of the treatments is Benadryl, which is what we also use for acute allergic reactions. The classic story, again, is going to be several people having been out for a fish dinner, perhaps at Captain Scrombroid Seafood Restaurant. They're going to report that the fish had a very peppery taste, and then within several minutes after consuming the fish, they're going to start to develop these particular symptoms. The mechanism of action here is the fact that these particular type of fish are prone to have a bacteria within their skin when the fish are set out in a hot temperature in the sun and one side of the fish is getting warmed up compared to the underside which is perhaps on a bed of ice there's a enzymatic reaction that occurs. The mechanism of action here involves the fact that some of the fish have histidine in them and then by being exposed to bacteria in the heat the bacteria with an enzyme called histidine decarboxylase converts histidine into histamine. What happens here is when a person consumes the fish, they're going to be consuming an extremely high amount of histamine and present with symptoms very similar to allergic reaction from histamine surge. The scrombroid is served within minutes to up to two hours after the consumption of the food, so expect signs and symptoms to occur within minutes to two hours after eating the particular food items. Again, it's self-limiting, but the treatment is going to be Benadryl, histamine type 2 blockers, and you should know that if they're taking also isoniazid, that's going to prolong the scrombroid toxicity. And this is a type of pseudo-allergy, also known as the mahi-mahi flush. The key points here is that histidine, when converted into histamine, creates a heat-stable toxin. So even though the fish had been out in the sun and was cooked, it's a heat-stable toxin, so the heat doesn't break down the histamine. And to distinguish scrombroid from anaphylaxis, you're going to, again, recognize that there's going to be multiple patients coming in with very similar complaints, and it's likely then that they've consumed fish that has scrombroid poisoning in it. Very rare reactions can occur, such as bronchospasm and angioedema.